Hey Bougie, how you doing? It's Terry from Hey Bougie Lifestyle. How are you? Before I get started, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. You know I like hanging out with you guys and I got a lot to share. Always got a lot to talk about. So please hit that subscribe button, Bougie. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bougie. So, I got something here today. Hey Bougie merchandise. It's coming to you soon. Apparel home decor, and so much more. So, I just wanted to let you guys know because I'm, I'm excited and I wanted to share it with you so you'll be able to know that you can place your orders, you know, whenever you're ready, and I can get them out to you. So, this is only one of the things that we have that I'm sharing with you now, but we have other styles, different styles, you know, different, different style lettering, Whole lot, a whole lot, of, a whole lot of great stuff coming in the Hey Bougie line. So just stay tuned. I'll, I'm going to come back with, with so many, so many great things. Um, but Hey Bougie merchandise is coming to you soon. Anyway, now that we talked about that, I was deciding what I was going to have for dinner. And today, today, I, it's too hot. And I just feel like some junk food. I feel like junk food. So I'm just going to make some nachos. And I said, you know, I, I told you guys that I was thinking about it because, you know, I was in the mood for nachos. Let me, let me put this down real quick. I told, you, I told you guys that I was in the mood for nachos the other day. So I seasoned, you know, so, took some of the ground turkey out and seasoned it up, you know, with taco seasonings and all. And um, so I have this, I'm gonna use this and my nachos and um, I'm going to put them together and that's what I'm going to have for dinner you know and um, I want you to hang out with me while I prepare my nachos and you know I'm going to do something a little different I'm going to do something a little different I have the, um, the nacho dippers uh, the Clancy's nacho dippers these came from algae and I'm going to do I think you know people using Doritos in their nachos here lately. I'm going to spike my blood pressure, I'm sure. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, what they say, gotta treat yourself sometimes, right? Treat myself a lot. So I'm going to, you know, layer this up together. Um, I have, I'm going to add, you know, some um, cheese and all this stuff. I'm going to put it together. Here I have I have my salsa. So I'm going to start layering this. I'm going to start out. I'm going to put the um, some of these these slippers. Yeah, I, I will buy these I, and I will just eat them by themselves. So I'm layering them. I, I'm layering them on a baking sheet. I have aluminum foil and parchment paper because you guys know extra. But anyway, you know, I usually, you know, with nothing, if I didn't put anything else in the microwave, because I'm not a microwave person, I would put my nachos in the microwave. But, you know, I said, you know what, I'm going to try them in the oven um, because I am, um, I want them to stay, you know, crisp. So I'm going to try them in, in the oven for the first time. Uh, and I'm going to put them in my uh, my new tabletop oven. I'm not turning them together. I'm just not going to. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not in the mood for, for turning on the big oven. And, uh -uh. I'm going to add some of these Doritos and nacho cheese flavor. I just feel like, you know, some days I say, you know, I don't, I don't feel like eating regular food. So I say, I call this Junk Food Friday, right? <laughs> junk Food Friday. I will pay for it. I know I will pay for it. But look. And I, you know, I was like, I show it like a nice, um, uh, 
frosty, cool drink. So I'm gonna get you, you know, uh, um, like a daiquiri type smoothie, virgin type. In a second, maybe I'll put a little tequila. So that this this I feel like. I guess it's like junk food Friday, happy hour food type of thing. So this is what, what I've got going on here so far. Just, you know, lay, lay, layering up some chips. And I'll put one layer and then I'm going to um, put a layer of cheese, salsa, and meat. But what I want to do, because I have my ground turkey here in season, but it was in the fridge. So it's a little... It's a little chilled, and I, when I put it all together, you know, because the cheese is not going to take a long time to, to melt up, I'm going to put this in the um, microwave for maybe, you know, I guess between 15 and 30 seconds, 20 and 30 seconds, just to get it, you know, warmed up. So then when it goes in the oven, you know, it won't be, you know, so, so cold. Everything can come together a little quick. So, um, I got my chips here, and I'm going to do a layer of. Well, this is Colby Jack cheddar. I'm going to use some Colby Jack cheddar, and then I also have um, another cheese. So I'm going to layer some cheese. Healthy but <laughs> a delicious meal. So yeah, I'm really excited about the merchandise. And if you listen, if you have any ideas, you know, for me, I'm. Um, I'm open, I'm open to any ideas. Because, you know, you like to give people what they want, right? <laughs> anyway, so I'm mixing some of this. This is the um, Mexican, four, me four cheese Mexican blend. Put that on there. Now I'm gonna put, um, I'm going to put a layer of this salsa and you know, so everything can be together. You know, and the funny thing about nachos is that they're so delicious when you eat them on the first day, the first, the first, the first go around. And then you try to heat them up. <laughs> no. Now, I've never done them in the oven before, so maybe that may make a difference, but I don't know. So I'm gonna put another layer of nachos.
Okay, so I'm going to put another layer of salsa, not too much. Because I'm going to put, you know, all this is going to go on top. You know, a little of this it's on top at the end. I'm using the scoops because I had them. I have them, so I said I might as well use them. All right, so that's done. So now I'm going to heat this up for a couple seconds so that I can start layering, layering in my ground turkey and um, the other things I'm gonna put on here. So, let's get them. Like I said, I'm going to stick it in here for like 20 to 30 seconds. So, let's see. 20 seconds. Just to get that, like I said, heat up a little bit. And um, now here, I'm going to add, you know, when I'm done, I have, um, I have some tomato and onion that I cut up. Just tomato up a little bit more. Let me get it nice and, you know. Because, you know, I'm, when it comes to nachos, you know, the, the, the guacamole, I really don't care for that. <laughs> and I know it's a part of, um, you know, the, the whole nacho, but I never really care for guacamole. Let me know. Do you, do you like guac? Do you, you know, do you prefer guac in yours or, or do you just, you know, I just, I never really care for it. I mean, I, if it was there, I, you know, but on a regular, very basic when it comes to my nachos. I don't want all that extra, extra. All right, so. Yeah, it's warmed up now. So I'm going to layer some of this meat in. Um, just so that it's all throughout. Throughout. So that it's all throughout the... Um, the nachos and then when you know I don't have to worry about being too chill when I put it in the oven all right all right so that's the meat so I have um like I said um I'm gonna put I'm gonna sprinkle some of these onions through that I have chopped up here just a few because I love red onions. I can eat them in anything. And um, the the tomatoes, I'll wait and I'm going to put them on top. The tomatoes that I chopped up, um, I'm going to add some um, more salsa. I actually need to get some more. Add some more salsa. Um. And some more cheese. And some more cheese. Okay. So this is what we're looking at so far and i'm going to bake this together then once i bake this bake this down and get the cheese all melted up then i'm going to add you know top it off with some more salsa some um uh you know peppers and tomatoes but this i want to get mixed uh, for it to bake down good together and um melt up this cheese really well i think i'm gonna have a little cheese. What is, what is 
wear nachos if you don't have a lot of cheese, right? Really. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in my um, countertop oven for, let's say I'm going to put them in there for about, I guess maybe about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, because it shouldn't take long for this, this cheese to melt. And um, I'll come back and then we'll finish with the garnish on top and see how it turns out. All right. So anyway, I'll be back. Stay bougie and stay tuned for part two.